Behind every breakthrough in science and medicine, there's always a visionary, someone who has an idea and, and brings it to fruition. And in the world of orthopedic medicine, I, I think Dr. Richard Stedman, you are one of the greatest pioneers of all, and now you've extended that through your research institute to uh, uh, regenerative medicine and to stem cell medicine. You came here to Vail in 1990 with one partner, and now you have, what, 10 doctors and a huge scientific summit. This must be really, uh, to use a cliche, a dream come true. Well, I think it, uh, it's a tribute to the people I brought here. That, uh, that when we uh, kind of filled out the clinic and the research institute, we tried to get the very best people. And, and so it turns out that we were, made good choices. I, uh, the very best people came because you're the very best person. Thanks. Well, that's a nice compliment, but I have to say that they were doing all the work. <laughs> so what do you think the future is now? You were a pioneer in, in several orthopedic uh, concepts and, and procedures. What, what do you hope that comes out of something like this research uh, uh, summit? Yeah, I think that, that uh, we're, we're not at the end and that... Uh, Getting people together that have different approaches and 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 respect each other and are willing to listen to each other's approaches, uh, that's the kind of thing that bi that builds things in the future. Being able to get take my ideas and then meld them in with other people's ideas and and pretty soon we have something good. Pretty soon we have something good. You've had something good all the time. Um, what I keep hearing people say here is the, the advantage of having the Reese Stedman Philippon Research Institute next door to the Stedman Clinic is that pure science gets to be translated into uh, actual medicine, into, into clinical work. Can you explain what that means? Yeah, I think you explained it pretty well. The, um, when, when I started practice, it was just uh, treating people and doing surgery and and uh, kind of mid midway through my career, I recognized that that uh, the people that were doing that should be trying to figure out why things work and how things work. And so that's where I really started this research institute, and and uh, along with other people. And um, but I felt like that was the way that uh, we I could do good operations, but to do good patient care, I needed that that addition of the Institute. Well, congratulations on all that you've accomplished in your career and uh, it continues to evolve here. I, I, I think um, you will be remembered as obviously one of the greatest surgeons of all time, but for years after you uh, are gone, the work that you started will continue to grow and uh, it's a pleasure to know you. Thanks, well, same with you. I think that uh, the, the team that's assembled here now is it's hard to compete with it. And uh, I think the people are, are don't think of themselves, they think of our goals. And uh, I think that's what we were after when we started the clinic and, and it's still going that way.